Hello and welcome to another Sci-Fi Short, I'm Joe, and today we're going to be doing the second in the series of Bad Atheist Memes. As you know, I'm an atheist myself and I've basically just been trying to go through some of our worst memes just so that in the hope that, you know, we'll stop using them basically because some of them are absolutely awful. Now memes can be incredibly useful, uh, especially in places like Twitter where you're limited by your character count and they can sometimes explain things really well and in other circumstances they really don't. So today's bad atheist meme is born atheist. We atheists have a number of things in our tool belts, and one of those is memes. Many of these memes are oversimplifications or just flat out wrong. So I thought I would create a series to address some of our worst memes and explain why they are so bad. We are all born atheists. Something that shows a lack of epistemological understanding is the claim that we are all born atheists. As you can see, this meme on the side, it says we are all born atheists until someone starts telling us lies. I mean, that's another issue as well uh, about it being lies. Even if you believe it is not true, it's not necessarily a lie unless there's the uh, intent to deceive. And if someone genuinely believes what they're saying, they're just telling you a falsehood. So in other words, it's a terrible take on many regards. So what is an atheist? An atheist is one who ascribes to atheism. Atheism is polysemous, which means it has many definitions. With the way language works, there is no wrong definition except for specific contexts. Think of the use of theory in science versus the colloquial. But there are more logical or useful definitions than others. For example, we could define an atheist as anyone that picks their nose, but there's not much utility to that definition. So, atheism has a number of definitions that we could explore to see uh, if they work for the claim that babies are atheists. Uh, this list is not exhaustive, just the most common. So there's the belief or proposition God or gods do not exist, not believing in God or gods, lacking belief in God or gods, and not being a theist. So the proposition gods do not exist. With atheism being a proposition, for someone to ascribe to it, it would mean they accept it as true, believe it to be the case. A baby cannot consider the proposition, nor can it hold beliefs in regard to said proposition. Under this definition, a baby is not an atheist. Not believing in gods. When we speak of someone that does not believe in gods, we are generally thinking of a considered response. Even if you consider flu in 1972 or flint in the late 1800s, they were talking about someone that had heard of God or gods, considered it and found it unconvincing. In fact, flu's version was down to the concept of God being ill-defined, kind of like what is known as agnosticism today, though not exactly. Uh, we covered his uh, video in Presumptively Atheist, if you want to check that out. A baby cannot consider or understand the concept of God, so it does not fit this definition. Lacking belief in gods. Lacking belief in gods is often conflated with not believing in gods. However, there is a difference. When something is described as lacking a belief, it is meant that it, it's an absence of belief. Even this can have different meanings. From one perspective, it could apply as a response to theism and just not hold the theistic belief and therefore be absent out of that belief. This would still not apply to babies. On the other, we could talk specifically about the absence of that psychological state. If we consider this, we get to an absurd level where anything absent of that psychological state is regarded as an atheist and are left with silly ideas that not only are babies atheists, but so are dogs, cats, rats, cabbages, and even rocks. Not being a theist. There are some atheists that regard this act of not being a theist the only qualification to make one an atheist. This again can reduce the atheist position to an absurd level where anything not a theist is an atheist. 
If we are to include things like rocks as atheists, this means that atheism isn't a rational response to theism, and that many of the things we like to claim about atheists and atheism are not true, for example, intelligence, rational, moral, etc. This also ignores the variety of different types of non-theists there are. Utility. There is not much utility to calling babies atheists. The general idea is to try and prescribe atheism as a default state, yet through evolution we humans are prone to assigning agency, paranoia and superstition. Our default state is therefore a blank tape template with the tendency, as our brain develops, to hold beliefs such as assigning agency where it is not present. Furthermore, even if we do regard all types of non-theists as atheists, what does that actually do to aid us atheists? In summary, you're free to use whatever definition of atheism and atheist you like for yourself, but I would suggest not prescribing definitions onto others. Prescribing this definition onto babies doesn't actually do anything to strengthen the atheist position and in fact shows weak epistemological understanding, so could have the opposite effect. Regarding babies as innocence or ignorant might be better than referring to them in terms of psychological states that they cannot hold. And there it is, another short and sweet sci-fi short. Hopefully you enjoyed that one and can understand why uh, referring to babies as atheists is not particularly good. Uh, obviously that was a really quick overview, there's a hell of a lot more detail that we can give you. We've done uh, slightly longer videos and articles on this. In fact, uh, I've got one on Answers in Reason called Are We Born Atheists? So if you want to check that one out, feel free. And if you've got any questions or comments, please let me know. Anyway, this is the end of this sci-fi short, and I'm Joe.